Hey everybody, it's Bobo the Vulture, and it's time for more Sega Genesis flashback bonus games. Uh, last time, Hexagonos was giving us a little bit of trouble when we got onto the hardest difficulties, but uh, it's a perfectly fine, interesting sort of go or reversey or some kind of game thingy. It was fine. But uh, we have moved on to the second page of bonus games, which is not a full page. It is missing one. But we're going to check out Jack's P. Jack. Presumably, if this is Jack, that is the player character up there. Appears to be either shirtless or in a sort of like skin tone shirt. Wearing a little green speedo, got a big old ear, headband. I like him. The original name of Crawling 2010. Whoa. What was that? What was that jumping action? <laughs> what was that jumping action? Wow, mission accomplished, everybody. One platform at a time appears. I win! Wow, what interesting sound effects. Maybe this is a copy of another game you've seen on the internet. I believe any of those things. Yeah, the jumping action on this is uh, pretty on point. The animation in general. I dare say this is one of the best releases to come out for the Genesis. Jack's P right here. <laughs> it's definitely your vote for cruddiest little game in the box. We have to see, did you see any of the ones that we did uh, the other day? Do you see uh, table tennis or... Oh gosh, there was another one. It was literally that game where you just put in the uh, angle and st strength of your shot. Let's see whether or not you hit the other guy's uh, gun turret or whatever. Oh, okay. Those will be rattling off on YouTube where you can check the VOD later on. No, it's not Angry Birds. It's the one... I feel like there were a lot of old uh, basic games that were ba built on the principle. You would just... Uh, it'd be like two cannons on either side of a ravine. Oh, I definitely should have jumped there. I don't know if I'm going to have enough time here. Tanks, but without being able to move your tank. Yeah, Sean was there. He knows what's up. That's the sound effect. Oh, I'm sorry, Hazel. I didn't mean to alert you. I mean to alarm you by saying, Oh, wow, that really freaks you out. I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry, little sweetheart. Oh, you do not like that sound effect. It's a good thing I'm wearing headphones so you can't hear it. Yeah, like Gorilla. Exactly like Gorilla. <laughs> You do not like that squeak. Or, I don't know, <laughs> sound that's something akin to a baby crying. Well, 
Bad news, Hazel. You're probably going to have a family eventually. <laughs> And you are a young enough cat that that's probably going to happen before you are no more. Anyways, let's unpause here. Oh wait, I could have gotten that. Still not entirely sure what this background is. If there are all those platforms back there, why don't we just use those? They appear to be attached to each other. We might be able to, like, climb on those pillars, even. Whereas what we're doing with our spastic jumps seem to be, uh, seem to be dangerous. Sounds coming from Bobo. No, Lethal, I have the uh, I have the TV turned down because uh, otherwise I'd be getting an echo. So uh, I'm hearing them in my headset, but uh, when I replicate them for that poor kitten, that's bad. Having we're safe scumming this game because so far we have discovered that many of these games have endings. Oh no! So we don't want to lose out. Get your ass over here, platform. I'm gonna give it up for this game's music, though. It's only one tune, but it's not bad. Sacrifices Bobo makes. I mean, you know, eventually somebody will go through this game. Yeah, bip <laughs> bip bip. That sound, bip bip bip. Game is probably super hot in Argentina. Could be. Platforms are in the position that you can get to them straight away. You gotta get to them straight away, because we got a timer. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to follow this one the whole way across. All the kids are playing for the high score. Jack's P when they should be playing soccer. Or when they aren't playing soccer. I get that. Well, also there's cross the road. I imagine a lot of kids are going to cross the road. Has a dog. Jeez. Only 75 seconds. We win! 
understand. Some Mayan-inspired art. Oh yeah, I haven't really been getting a good look at the uh, columns along the sides of the screen there. Hello, baby girl. I hope you were not too upset. You're all right. Oh, there goes the platform the other way. All right, Hazel. Just because I was uh, genuinely concerned that you were upset by that sound doesn't mean you get to go poking around in the games. Oops. Dun, dun, dun. This seems like the music that would play in, like the old. Uh, old woman's house in the town and RPG. She's always making you go do chores for her. She's got an ugly face and you're supposed to not like her. Nope. I may have already messed this up. S Sonny, go climb to heaven and see if they have a cup of sugar to spare. Yeah. And as you climb up to heaven, you see, uh, all these brightly colored uh, platforms and you're inspired by them and it makes you think of a new technique for your sword to use. Sounds about right. Come on, I only got so much time left. I'd say I've done a pretty good job of hopping up here quickly. You can't just let my time run out like that. Three seconds to spare. So we know who Jack is. Where's the pig? I don't know. I don't know if this is... Maybe this isn't Jack. Maybe we're off to find Jack. And face him and take his peas. Thought I'd see whether or not I'd be able to, uh... Oh my, the platforms are moving! Wait, that's not what I... Oof, just caught that one by the toe.
theoretically this is actually making it easier to scale a lot of uh, platforms in a short amount of time. I don't know if that's going to mean that there are exponentially more platforms. I'm going to guess that this game can't get too much more intense than this stage. And that we will soon see this P. And if you think Jack is just randomly flailing his arms around now, you will not have seen anything. You will not have seen anything. You have not seen anything like the flailing that he's gonna do when we reach his P. Wait, nope. That's a little too far back. There we go. We win! Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to rewind into winning again. But I'll take it. What's the health bar for? Is that this, this shelf we put our lives on? <laughs> That's a good question. All right, just trying out real quick to see whether. Oh no! Crash the console, guys. I think I might have done it by hitting the X button. <laughs> Nervous that there are two seconds. There are two digits for the stage number. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't understand it. That's right, little girl. It's the uh It's a little Genesis. Let's let's check out another as long as we've got it shut off. Let's see if it'll load up another thing. This game, this thing keeps shutting down the simulation because of how good I am. It's amazing. Effing, you missed the earlier round of Fight or Lose, which was, uh... Oh, wow, that loaded really quick. So here's another game that uh, I picked up. Mick and Mac Global Gladiators. Oh, it just calls it Global Gladiator. But it is Mick and Mac Global Gladiators, which does in fact star those. The title Fight or Lose is the Half Truth. Fight or Lose had three different uh had it had three columns for uh for the rounds. Hack your game box, the Argentinians are guarding high scores. Alright, let's go. Down to recent and Jack's P. Whoops. Oh, I had a description for all these. Wow. Two green platforms are floating in the air, one higher and one lower, and moving from one side to another. 
The player is always on the lower one and has to jump onto the upper platform when the two platforms are almost overlapping in the vertical direction. When a certain amount of jumps are reached, the player exit enters the next level. Each time a level is passed, the platforms will move faster. If the player does not land on any platform, the player will fall into the abyss and lose a life. When all three lives are lost, the game is over. And there's instructions. Jump up. B and Z have no function. And they don't even bother to tell you, yeah, you're not going to use X, Y, or Z for any of these. Let's play the game. Let's load save slot 1. Yeah, the the description didn't really tell us anything about the yellow bar, did it? What is happening here? The only toilet is in heaven, and this is your hell. Come on. Wait, the music's gone? Are you guys not getting sound? I appear to be outputting sound. I mean, I'm heard, but I want everyone to hear the dip, 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 da, 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 da. That's vital. Well, oh, great. I can't be the only one hearing these sounds. Yeah, I mean, well, here, I'll... Mute video capture device and then re-engage it. Are you hearing anything? No. What if we hop away from the uh, video capture device entirely? So the video capture device will start again. Potato salad? I mean, I can't be the only one experiencing this music. That... that would be unacceptable. I'm not playing round ball rock in the background. The heck are you talking about? Oh, goodness. You guys are going to miss the exciting music. I wonder if my local recording is going to miss the audio, too. Hey, what happens if it's the best music ever when uh, we finally finish the game? Why is OBS showing me that it's picking up audio when it's not? Why does it tell me lies? Sweet, sweet lies.
Wow, this one is uh, very difficult. Running out of time here, guys. Any of these platforms could be the last one, huh? I can't afford to miss a jump now. Yeah, the uh the rewind feature is not the uh best realized feature there is. <laughs> let's uh let's load save slot one. Oh man. We gotta do this all over everybody. Stella got his penis back. Just, just got to try and stay smooth. Nope. There we go. Trying to shortcut these things too early now because I know how tight for time we are. Ah, you've missed out on at least three hours of this? Wow, has it really? Zerf, you're not hearing the music, are you? You will have gone through your life without hearing the music. I mean, I believe that I have. It's just sometimes it's sad to think about, you know? It hasn't literally all been Jack's P. We played a lot of uh, Fight or Lose. Enough to uh, drive Grimoth to the breaking point. Says only one or three hours ago. The scrolling is horrifying. It is very rough. So yes, yeah, or if you're not hearing the music, right? All right then. 
Let me see if I can help. Hey Google, play Sandstorm by Darude. Oh no, you've got headphones on. You should put on Darude. You should put on Sandstorm anyway. I win! It just took yelling the music, listening to all the same things, <laughs> listening to everything Effing suggests tonight. All right. Oh, hey, sweetheart. Hey, so it's okay. Mama just went to a happy hour after work. You're confused why she's not around. Is that it? <laughs> she's fine. She's just sitting in a new course. I was just singing along with the game. If uh, the game's uh, music happens to be like this really depressing, plotty tune that uh, also aligns perfectly with Van Halen's jump. I didn't realize effing was a millennial. Did you realize that you're ruining fill in the blank? That's right. The concept of filling in the blanks has been ruined by millennials. Because everybody's got to put in something dry and sarcastic, man. I believe, depending on your mood that day, you could call me a... Uh, I think it's usually Gen... Like, is there literally... Is there one between Gen X and uh, Millennial? Like, there used to be a thing that they talked about as a generation, but now it's just it's like, ah, oh, Gen Xers are old, and Millennials are ruining everything. And... Uh, part of the forgotten generation that's in the middle, potentially. Oh, whoops. Gen Y is pretty much millennial. Oh, you're back in robot form. 
did you take off the headphones or are you just back in robot form? Gen Y, Millennial, and Zennial. Yeah, see, I was born in 1980, but I came of, like, that means that I literally became an adult in the prior uh, millennium. So, now you brought your headphones upstairs, so, if I try and suggest music for you, it's still not going to do anything. You be sure and let me know if that's not uh, something that's uh, cool that you want to have happen all the time. Like, you know, if it uh, disturbs the baby or is uh, really irritating in some other way, it's just like you don't like it. Doesn't bother RoboZerf at all. Because he's RoboZerf has no feelings. I really should have jumped over there at that point in time. Come on, guys. I know that we can make this. We can make it if we try just the two of it. Wait a minute. I was on that platform, and then once it scrolled up, I was like, you're not on it enough. Come on, Jack. You got this. Come on, bounce! Come on, bounce! Now, do we start back at the bottom? Here's what I want to know. Let's see, Jinx, Millennials, Generation's gonna take the fall. Wrestling. I understand, but that's okay. I don't need to. Alright, this is, this is jacked up. I need to start over from the beginning of this level. Usually these games have an end. That's not going to help me reach it. Not really sure I get how the rewind feature works fully. The end of this game resides in your wits. The game can end whenever you want it to, Bobo. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> I totally fell. Let's make a mid-stage save, because, you know... They, they often... Yeah, we've, we've run across a number of them that have had endings. Usually it just says something like, win! But it is an ending. Might have been able to make that. Let's uh, keep interim saving while we get quick jumps. Random internet sources of gen really is. Gets all the pros. Gets into the pros and cons of all the different generations. Boy, this random internet source really sounds a little judgmental. <laughs> round ball rock is penetrating your subconscious. I don't even know what round ball rock is. Is it a, a thing from uh, I don't know Space Jams? Oh, the NBA theme. <laughs> yeah, I got thrown off there. You know what else is a great one? It is, I don't believe, actually uh, composed by John Tesh. But I'm also a big fan of Heavy Action, which I believe I read somewhere has entered the public domain. So I really should just use the official recording of Heavy Action next time I'm doing a Boba Bowl announcement. Except that uh, Bean does like to help with those. Your jukebox has been adjusted to heavy action. There you go. Heavy action does sound like a good stage name. Stage three, heavy action. And then you put it on and it goes. Dun -dun 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 dun 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 And so on. Oh, shoot.
Yes. What do you do here? I win! So it's just literally now gotten so tall that you can't reach all of the stages in one go. That was the brakes. Game was really impossible the whole time. Yes. I mean, this may actually come down to, like, I've got to, uh... Because Bean's on her way back. She's going to need help with the groceries, so... Though the platforms are moving at this rate, maybe we'll be okay. Just got to keep making slight course adjustments here, and you'll never sit on any one platform for too long. Jack, you're going to be reunited with your P before you know it. Okay, that doesn't seem to be working. Let's load that save slot. This action is getting heavy, folks. I don't know if you guys are noticing it, but it's definitely happening. This is getting more and more difficult to up to accomplish, which I suppose is the goal of any game. It doesn't seem to be doing it by uh, good methods. I don't know what's going on. Let's see whether or not... Uh, I only get down to one. And there is no zero lives remaining, that's all. If we lose this one, we're done. Which means I'm banking a lot on this being the final level. It is not the final level, it's gonna be the final level, if you get what I'm saying. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Civil War Bobo reached his wit's end. Do, 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 do. All right, I'm going to. This is my last ditch effort. But was reaching his wit's end a little bit. Also, it's just that uh, Bean is on her way back, and she's got groceries. And I'm when she gets here, I can't just be like, ah, but I'm playing my video games. That's it's not really an acceptable uh, way to be. I'm playing Jack's P. I'm really far into it. Now I gotta load that. I've seen firsthand that uh, we're not gonna have enough time. I let stuff like that happen. There are no extra lives in this game, it seems. So guys, what do you think? 1989, Sega Genesis first came out. You got a bunch of games that came with it. You got a bunch of games for it, and uh, this was among them. I don't have any reason to believe that this game was ever released in cartridge format, and I do have reason to believe that it was made years after the early run of Sega Genesis games. But we're just playing pretends. With the card in twenty, ah, shoot. We got a hard time out on this one, folks. Time out. No. All right, this is bizarro. Look, guys, I want to see the ending to Jack's P. Surely there must be an end to Jack's P. I mean, how many cases of beer did Jack drink? You want a pony, and you want a Bulbasaur. Guess what, guys? One of us is going to get what we want. Maybe.
If it turns out that in 30 seconds we can't get up here, I'm going to feel like I did my due diligence. <laughs> what you get for Christmas on each day save? That's right. Then if you load it, after that, you open the you open the present, you're stuck with whatever the present is. If you save before you open the present, it could be anything. It could even be a boat. I win! <laughs> Fuck you. Imagine scenarios with a person yelling state save as time travel powers. Like Captain N, the Game Master, had the pause button that uh, he used in maybe one, maybe two episodes. Well, that's Jack's P, everybody. It's all over the place. That's, that's a great time. There's a little character sprite of Jack. Barely recognize him without him <laughs> spasming out as he jumps vertically. I know what's wrong with his arms. Effing, maybe that's the whole reason that uh, he has to jump everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Jack's got uh, peas with a side of hot dogs. You wouldn't think hot dogs are the side dish, but they are. Oh, crime and Eddie. These hot dog arms have fleshy hilts. Or he's wearing some kind of flesh-toned shirt. I'm not sure what's going on there. But that's Jack's pee, everybody. It's possible there's an ending to it. There have been endings to some of these games. You've seen it. I haven't made it up. There haven't been endings to some of the games. Maybe. Maybe we just didn't reach them. That's right. I'm looking at you, Fighter Lose. Either way, though, this is Bobo the Vulture. This has been... Let's play... Sega Genesis Flashback Console... Bonus games, Jack's P. Lethal, are you in the car? Lethal, you don't need to drive away. This is just the end of Jack's P. There'll be plenty more. We still need to see Mr. Balls. Mr. Balls wouldn't be the same without you. It wouldn't be the same without any of you. Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time.